Three, two, one. You're listening to Just Okay Gamers, where this week, it's a milestone episode. Oh, and it is? Yeah. You should know that because we've spent hours upon hours producing this podcast. Oh, I thought we already recorded that. I thought we were pre-recording for the next yeah. week's podcast. What, what about all that stuff yeah. we did? We did. We did record we it, and I'm going to play I'm gonna play it very soon. Wait, wait. That's I just wanted to warm up the crowd. Yeah, it's, it's episode 250. Oh, I get it now. Holy shit. <laughs> what was it to what get? Did you think we yeah, were doing? I I was confused. I w- I thought that we were like trying to take ourselves and get ahead because you know we got things coming up and we were just pocketing that one. Yeah. I guess that now you now that I think about it though, it doesn't make sense because you know the stuff we talked about happened this week. Right. right. You guys, you guys all all took the week off this week and we spent twelve hours a day producing this. Yeah. Mm. So uh, we're going to just hit this play button on this episode, and uh, we're going to go and sip some beers and mm-hmm. have some Crack Cosmos. Ooh, Cosmos jerk off too. a little. Yeah, we're going to watch Cosmos, uh, too. Mm-hmm. The car I mean, I got my version, wood. Not, not oh. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, one. I got my, my wood here, too, Neil. right? <clears throat> um, and we're going we're gonna to just hit play on this and, uh, and see if it uh, – here we go. All right. Uh, l- here it is. Episode mm-hmm. 250. Oh, that, that's not it. What is it? What's going on here? <laughs> that button. Jeez. Um, Guido, Real you do funny, Guido. Play the real thing, please. Okay. Yeah, the real thing. The real no, thing. That's no, not we it. spent that's one not it either. all the that's time on it. it. Um, here. Oh, we, this, uh, is, here this, this is the one. Uh, this if is this the one doesn't work, I'll... Okay. No, that's not a guy. That's just God, Guido, get your shit together. Karma. Get it Come together. On, we spent all that time. Uh, I gave you the file by hand. This is a really important one, Guido. Don't fuck it up. Okay, wrote, how about I, the, what about this? I one? wrote out the file. On a piece of paper. Oh shit! I oh. actually just uh, on the piece of paper, pull, and then I handed I pull, it to you, and that's how file how transfers work. How are you work. so calm? I just shot you. <laughs> well, I mean, he's been shot so many times. Oh, I'm high on PCP. Oh, okay. Oh, that too. That. And the meth we gave him in his drink. Yeah, yeah. He did drink a lot of meth. Um, well, guys, I'm trying every file I got here. Uh, uh, maybe it's this <laughs> one. Oh, oh, that's shit. not it. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. Why don't we I use the launched, sound effects? You just more? launched a missile at Russia, by the way. Uh, I don't... I. I I hate to say it, guys. I think I lost the file. I think it's God. We no. spent an entire day on that. Well, I mortgaged my house for that. People will just have to lower their expectations. We'll have to do it. People live. died for this. I hope you remember. Well, you guys want to just do it live? All right, fuck it. Let's sure, do okay, it live. Yeah, fuck it, yeah. All right, here we go. We're just okay, and we play some games. We're just okay gamers. Thanks for listening to episode 250. Two, five, zero. Two, five, oh, of the Just OK Gamers podcast. My name is Guido, and I'm here with Wally. Oh, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> qu- wait, oh dude, what is the order again? I forget. Uh, quarter, quarter century mill. Hello. Uh, yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It is nasty. Quarter century, eh? Yeah, that's, uh, what is that? 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's a, 250 years is a quarter did, of a millennium, I right? Or? I, think, I think you got our, the math wrong on, on how many episodes 250 is uh, translates well, to. Well, you don't know what I was time. referencing with my name, so. Oh. Oh. Wow, <laughs> we got a, a snappy mill pool at uh, at our feet here. Yeah. Uh huh. I just turned twenty five and I'm a big boy, and you won't push me around anymore. Congrats on your twenty fifth birthday. Yeah, you're a good boy. You. Big boy. Big big boy. I just turned twenty. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Even, oh, that's huh? a 20 big even. milestone. That is uh-huh. a good milestone. Yeah. Thanks. You know, we all uh, look terrible for our age. Oh, man, I look horrible. <laughs> um, 
We made it, though. Here it is. Five years in the making. 250 episodes. Two, five, oh. It's, Two, five, oh. it's almost unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Did you guys think we'd make it this far? I know I've asked. Absolutely. I a- we asked this every milestone episode. Mm, um since when what are we talking about last year did i think we were gonna make it this far yes oh when yeah? we first started no i think any doubt was relegated to the first year for me and anything after that no nah, i was like we're on a roll we got momentum yeah yeah i remember like writing down ideas for the show before we started doing it and like even writing out scripts for like fake commercials that we would do, and we didn't do any of that stuff. So nope. Yeah, I'm surprised that we've made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say our prep time has uh, drastically decreased. Even for this episode, a little behind the scenes, uh, we didn't have a document oh, until spell. until about. Oh don't yeah, spell sorry. That joke. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. The running bit is uh, that we made a produced uh, podcast. So we had a very full doc, a document. Yeah. Doc uh, is short for document. Also, 4,000 pages oh, it is? long. Yeah. Um, but, uh, man, it's uh, what what did we have in that? We had all the guests. We had all of them. All of them. Name um, any guests. Yeah. Barack Obama was on it. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, we shit. lost our Barack Obama audio. We did. Man, what was, uh, what, was, what was he saying in that? Oh, uh, he was uh, saying something like, uh, "He was very racist." Do. I was like, yeah, surprisingly, he, he was. He was like, <laughs> "See what happens when you elect a white president." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, well, you said that, and then he like, uh, then he RKO'd you to the floor. It was weird. Yeah. Uh-huh. Weird. Um. Miley Cyrus. Oh yeah, she sang that live oh, rendition yeah. of Wrecking yeah. Ball. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. Um. Billy Bob Thornton. Oh, who could forget Billy Bob? <laughs> he has a vial of all of our blood around his it, neck now. He does. It was, it was weird. We went into uh, like a uh, behind the the movies four hour interview with Billy Bob Thornton and like his whole. Uh, uh, what is it called? His uh, his method, uh, right? Yeah. yeah, method man. His <laughs> method man. <laughs> uh, because him uh, and method man are uh, together now. Right. Well, that's all lost to the uh, father time now. Right. Yeah. Well, oh, we had father time on the podcast. Oh, father, father time. Like- personification of time itself yeah man we missed a bunch of stuff uh, well i guess we'll just have to revert to our normal boring format what did you guys okay. do this week oh shit <laughs> oh, uh, i see it's full of, full of great things <laughs> uh, which other guests did we have on it was work for me that i got i uh i got my new headphones finally oh man, you've yeah. been waiting so finally. long that's exciting We've Every been hearing about I these hear fucking this. headphones <laughs> yep, for fucking weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> They're great. They're everything I thought they'd be, and I'm yeah. excited and happy. Yeah. Good. Do they suck your dick through your yes, ear? Yes, they do. Mm-hmm. Well, not through my ear, just regular dick sucking. No. Okay. But uh, so they're they good. Use, uh, they're good. I like them. Highly recommend. I mean, what are you gonna have to talk about next week? Uh, <laughs> I'm buying. I'm buying a. I'm buying an amplifier for them. Oh wow! So we can wait a few week weeks you to said get. You were buying one because you were convinced that you don't need one. Well, I'm doing it superfluously. Oh boy! I, I don't need one. This is an extravagance. Oh boy! That's that's the highlight of my week. I was going to start talking about the annual meeting I helped run at work. No. No. How about you guys? Anything? Come on. Ah, oh, let's Nasty, see. What are you doing? I went to uh, Nasty's house. Yeah, you can't. Oh, what's that like? <laughs> tell us, tell us all about it. So, well, first, uh, uh, first things first, uh, I pull up to the curb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, in and then a I get, car? Yeah, and it, well, kind of. It's kind of a car. Are you doing pull-ups? I'm confused. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, honey, I shrunk the Guido. Duh. Uh, so. 
And then I attached a pull-up bar to Nasty's curve, and I did a few pull-ups. And then they yep. full-sized me. They, Honey, I blew up the Guido, but blew up to shrunk Guido as a normal size Guido. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I walked up to his house. <laughs> I don't know why I did some pull-ups, though. I don't know why you did either. <laughs> so so they, it sounds like they just struck you down to do a pull-up. Right, yeah. Wait. Pretty much. It was, well, <laughs> Nasty has a team of scientists hanging outside of his house. Uh, he does? Yeah, yeah you yeah, should come over sometime. From Nasty? And, and they, they change your body proportions drastically through various uh, scientific means and then make you uh, compete in some sort of physical test before you can approach the door. Um, Wait, is this... Uh, I don't mean to sidetrack, but is this how you got your huge cock? No, no. No, that's a whole different story. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. So anyway, I went to Nasty's house and I knocked on the door three times it was like knock 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 yeah and uh i waited approximately i'd say 15 seconds which at the time i thought was a little rude yeah it uh, was a it was a it was a long waiting period i apologize i was yeah. in the back part of my house um i had to come out of the bunker um up the stairs and around to the front room and open the front door oh okay apologies yeah, I, I don't accept your apology. Mm, that's wow. unfortunate. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Nasty opened the door and greeted me in a nice purple button-down shirt. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Still tucked in from the day's work. Yep, it was, actually. Uh huh. And uh, he said, hey, how's it going? And I responded with, uh, good, how are you? I Actually, I believe my first words were, mmm, smells like garlic bread. Yeah, he said, what you cooking? And I said, a shrimp fry rye. This is what they get for episode 250. <laughs> you know, yeah. you, you're talking about this elaborate visit to Nessie's house. I think you actually did something. Didn't you like go to like an off-Broadway show with your daughter? Or something, or a movie, or a theater thing on Sunday? Well, it'd be considerably off-Broadway, considering Broadway's in New York City. Well, I meant like, yeah, yeah it's an off- awesome. Well, yeah, anything off, well, off, off Broadway. But I mean, like, it's a theater production, though, right? Quality traveling theater production, or was yes, it just I did, I did go to see uh, the Wiz, the Wiz, uh, theater production of the Wiz. Was the it Wizard? regional or was it? It's Milwaukee theater. Company. Oh, okay, okay, so it's trash. <laughs> no, it wasn't bad. I mean, I give them credit. It's it's good, I guess, cool. for what it is. Uh, you guys ever see The Wiz before? No, yes. I haven't, actually. Well, it's a it's bunch about... of, uh, it's, it's The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's a bunch of, uh, very talented people, uh, playing The Wizard of Oz, a rendition of Wizard of Oz that's, uh, changed slightly. Okay. <laughs> What's the biggest change in it? Uh, the cast is all black. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. So actually. It, it's like um, Black Panther is to Superman. Yes. Yeah. It's kind a Wizard of. of Oz Black Panther, I guess. It's more like uh, what Black Superman would be to Superman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's the same exact story. Yeah, it's the same what? same story, but yeah, but, but a, more like African American kind of like solely, I don't know. It's R and B songs. solely kind of a thing. Yeah. yeah, like Tin Man sings a song called like "You gotta slide some oil to me, you gotta slide some oil in my elbow." <laughs> <laughs> and it's, is that really know, the song? Yeah, that is. It's something like that. And, you know, the audience is all, like, you know, sitting there and clapping. They're, at one point, the audience is clapping. and um, My daughter doesn't like audience participation of any sort. Wow, weird. And she's your daughter? <laughs> I know. Yeah. What a thunk. <laughs> what a thunk. There's uh, one time we, were, uh, we went and saw Charlie Brown Christmas or something. And uh, at the end of the play, the cast 
stands in front of you and they all start caroling. They sing songs, uh, Christmas songs. And uh, they sing, you know, uh, Hark the Herald and shit like that. And they're singing Old Christmas Tree. And then, uh, you know, Snoopy or whoever, Char- Charlie Brown's like, okay, all of you now. And they're like, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. And they're like, the audience is is is, is singing too. And me and, and my you daughter. you were singing too, right? N- well, right when this happened, me and my daughter both look at each other. <laughs> and, and she gives me this look out of like the corner <laughs> of her eye, out of the side of my eye, like, I can't believe this shit's going on. Dude, she's <laughs> why she is too cynical for her age. Like, where'd she get it from? She has to get it from the kid. All be just her. Yeah, where does she get it from? I wonder. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I wonder. You have a good naturedness to your cynicism. Hers is just like, Meh. yeah, Dark. but like when I would join in with the clapping or the singing of the Christmas carols, I do it to such an extreme measure. That <laughs> the only way she, the only reaction she could have as my daughter is rolling her eyes at me. Disdain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Just going full dad mode. Oh. So that's what so I you. did. Yeah, essentially. <clears throat> Millpool, nasty, you doing anything good? Um, no, I did some yard work this past weekend. That was it. Oh boy, 250 episodes. We're talking yard work now. <laughs> Fucking yard work, dude. That's about it, honestly. Okay. No pool? Um, I didn't do anything this weekend, and I went to, me and Jen went to Trivia on Monday at a barcade, and uh, that is it. Did you win? Oh. Did you get far? Um, We did pretty good, yeah. We got some free drinks because we won one Slick. of the rounds. Yeah, it was all right. No, uh, what's yeah, your drink of choice? Do you just go, are you a beer guy when you go to the bars? Yeah, yeah usually beer. Can you beer? To bars. What's your favorite beer? Yeah. Or your um, go to, I should bye, say. Bye, bye. My go to beer? I don't really have one. I try to stick in the kind of lighter range of beers. Um, full body, though. I like uh, wheat beers, um, Hefeweizens, stuff like that. Sure. Okay, all right. Cool. cool. Molson Dry, got it. Cool. Mm. <laughs> Lebat, <laughs> Lebat, Lebat, Cana- uh, Canadian. Did you know that um, Heineken is the best be- selling beer in Canada? Really? Wow! I wouldn't. I know. I just learned that. I wouldn't have guessed it though. I think Bud I Budweiser is probably Labatt. the best selling in America, right? <laughs> Bud Light's oh, my, uh, my go-to cheap. Wait, did I say Budweiser? Because you said Heineken, not Heineken. Budweiser. My mistake. Okay. Yeah, that's kind oh. of what I figured. Did you know Budweiser is the selling beer outside of the United States? Is or I don't know, is but not. Is like in, especially yeah. in abroad, like in Europe and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I was talking to a fr- family friend from Holland, and he was saying how like the Dutch make excellent beer, but they consider their beer swill, especially a local one called Grosch that sometimes you'll run into at the beer market. But uh, like Heineken and Grosch and stuff, they don't drink it. They all drink Bud. The young kids, they all <laughs> drink Budweiser. It's American beer. Gotta have that at the party. Huh. Well, it's probably a cultural kind of thing, you know? Uh, maybe not, because I've never been like, oh, I gotta get some Dutch beer to be cool with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to know. 250 episodes that we uh, still have just uh, normal, boring-ass weeks. Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, too, bad, too bad we lost the the good episode. I know, man. Oh, so much, so much better than this. Yeah, Selma Hayek showed her tits on it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> twice. We told her it was a podcast, but she insisted. She's never yeah, even done that in movies. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe she <laughs> has. Has she? <laughs> Can you name one Selma Hayek uh, tit sighting? Yeah, dude. Like um, the, bi- the biopic about that artist. Wasn't she uh, in that? Uh, Freya? Or something? Uh, hmm? What, she shows her tits in that with the unibrow? Yes. I mean, like, well, she's... She, I don't, it's a, it's I don't that part it. of her life where she she gets into a trolley car crash and she has to be put in a body cast for, like... And, like, there's this scene where they crack open the cast and it's just... The entire screen is just chest. Really? Well, I think there's another, yeah, there's another movie where she's, like, in the water at a beach or something. I forget what movie it is. 
That's yeah, a full F- frontal. Frida. Is Frida, Frida. the movie you're talking about? Frida, yeah. I found lots of... Uh, Oh yeah? oh yeah, oh yeah. There, oh, there's lots. Okay, of you gotta shut that tab. <laughs> oh, I gotta shut uh, you guys off. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you go. You go take care of business while I play this segue here, because we're gonna be talking about some video games. You guys ready? Let's do it. Seven deadly sins. Oh, thanks. That was so good. Good job. Oh, you're so cute. (laughs) That was really cute. Uh, Was that like the top of your vocal range, or did you? That's as high as I could go. It hurt. Yeah, it sounded like you were straining. Yeah, you were way out of your zone, way out of your comfort zone. You know, sometimes you got to give it your all, though, especially when it comes to a Patreon segue. Yeah. So thanks, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, for supporting us on Patreon. If you want a Patreon segue, go to patreon.com slash justokgamers and uh, help support us. <coughs> um, that'd be a big help. Yeah. Um, we have a, an announcement to make before we get into Just OK Gaming territory. <laughs> and uh, that announcement is uh, something we've done in the past. And we thought, hey, we need a big milestone to make this announcement. So we in 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 the pre-recorded episode, we went on. We had live bands playing. Uh, yeah. We were we were teasing it for hours upon hours. You know, just edging you. Walk, <laughs> 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 jeez. <laughs> uh, but I guess now we'll just get it out of the way. You know, might as well, right? Yeah. Uh, that announcement is. Just okay, con 2018. Oh, oh my god, yeah. yep, you heard it here first, and probably only heard it here ever. This is the only place that you would probably ever hear this. <laughs> probably, this is 2018. It is featuring wow, Elder Tree, yeah, possibly Elder Tree. Um. Just OK Con 2018 is taking place. We have secured the uh, y- the unit in which we will all be sleeping. And uh, we invite uh, people to come. There is a cap on the amount of beds we have. So um, if it ever, I don't think we'll ever sell out of the beds. But if it does get to that point, you know, you can get a hotel room or something nearby. Didn't we? Didn't we get damn close? We did, mm. but there's options to have more beds. Uh, oh. Yeah. How? Cots, basically. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but to stay under fire code, there there is a cap on it. So if you want to do it, just uh, keep the dates open because uh, we haven't started taking money yet, and that's the only way to secure your spot. But uh, we just wanted to let you guys know that it is happening and uh, to try and book some time off if you're interested in coming. It is going to be taking place uh, August 31st to September 4th. So uh, book those, mark it down in your calendar, do whatever you got to do. It's in uh, uh, Wisconsin. Did you say that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I did not. It is in Wisconsin. Thank you, Millpool. Uh, so uh, you're probably going to have to travel. Um, and uh, But there's going to be people, if, if you're coming, uh, hop on our Discord if you want to come and uh, talk. <coughs> yeah, that's funny. That's <laughs> real funny. Talk, talk with other people that are coming and... <laughs> Uh, that's real funny too. <laughs> and and make plans to get to and from the airport to uh, the place that we're staying. <clears throat> you know, there's going to be people with cars. 
that are able to pick everybody up and, and whatnot. Uh, we will work it out. And it's just a fun community event. We're going to do a live podcast like we did last year. Uh, two live podcasts, probably. And uh, we're going to be playing a lot of games and board games and having a lot of fun, drinking a lot, and cooking you guys dinner. So if that's something that you want to do, start planning, baby. Do it. Yep. Do it. And this is a real thing. It's not a prank. We did it last year. If you need proof, come to our Discord. We have pictures. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, so we'll we'll update you guys when we know the actual amount and where you guys can uh, buy a ticket or however we do it. Um, but we just wanted to let you guys know that it is happening. So plan accordingly if it's something you want to do. Yeah. All right. What about these games, huh? Look at all these games. games. Oh, you remember who we had shit. to talk about games on the oh, pre-recorded? God. Yeah. Yeah. We had was, uh, George Zimmerman. <laughs> yep, George Zimmerman, the uh, accused murderer. Uh, George Zimmerman of Trayvon Martin. He was on uh-huh. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that was maybe a mistake. That was yeah, yeah probably. I, yeah. Him. I, I yeah. didn't know who he was. I just heard his name. Uh, but. Uh, Man, I'm glad you brought him up because the whole time I was I was looking for a way out of that interview. And uh, mm-hmm. speaking of a way out, that's a game that's coming out. <laughs> Holy cow, it's finally out. Well, it's soon. out tomorrow for us. Soon. Yeah, soon. So you're saying uh, it found a way out? It did find a way out, found a way out to our uh, gaming platforms. And uh, if you don't know what a way out is, it's a story-driven cooperative uh, game, which uh, has two people playing uh, a pair of brothers. I believe they're brothers, right? Yes. Uh, Who are in prison and are going to escape and probably get into all sorts of hijinks. Um, It is forced split-screen cooperative. I didn't know that. Even if you're playing online... There's still a split screen because it makes it all huh. cinematic so you can watch each other. The story's intertwined. There's there's a lot of points where you might not be playing on the same screen. So you can kind of still watch and see what what's going on with uh, the person that you're playing with. Yeah. Uh, looks cool. I've been excited about this game for a while. I think it's going to be fun to play, if I'm being honest. Yeah, well, you got to be honest. You got to yeah. be honest, yeah. Um. It's thirty dollars, and only one person has to buy it of the two. Wait, oh, that's nice. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that part. Yeah, that's really exciting. Right. It just seems everything I've seen is the director and writer of this game seems very passionate about this project, and just wants it wants as many people to play it as possible. Right. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think the only thing I saw from it was like E three when mm-hmm. it was like a while ago i saw a video from it yeah i haven't kept up with it but it, yeah. it i hope it's good it snuck up on you fun. yeah it did i'd rather games do this though than have these giant huge hype trains that fucking don't deliver end up collapsing <laughs> yeah right something like uh you know sea of thieves did oh Ooh. god Oh, that's a deep cut. That's not even out yet, is it? <laughs> it just came sea out Thieves? last week. It's out, yeah. Is it out? Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. out, yeah. Uh, big, uh, big failure. Huge failure. <laughs> I, 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 I was really hoping that our beta experience wouldn't be so on the nose, but I guess it was. Yeah, every, every account that I've been reading says that the game uh, sadly does not have as much depth as that fucking ocean in it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's as sh- it's as shallow as a wading pool, and uh, that's a shame because it was something that I saw and I was like, oh, I could get behind this. Uh, a few of our community it might give us a game to play and create some adventures, and then uh, we got our hands on it, and uh, the beta turned out to be pretty much the full game, right? According to yeah. other people, I I haven't bought the full game, so I can't speak. It's yeah, over. Entirely. The, the asking price is just so huge. How long has it been out? 
two days or something? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Just, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt right now. I mean, it's not getting stellar reviews. I have seen some good reviews for it, just on the numbers alone. I think it just goes back to what we were talking about last week, that it just needs to have something, right? And I think other people are starting to realize that that after playing it for two days, that's about all that you get out of the content that they have, and then it's just repeating of the same thing. So. Yeah. It definitely has a very um, No Man's Sky kind of vibe going on right now. Yeah, but we'll see. I'm going to wait and see. I bet in like a year, you'll, you'll see some Reddit post about like, remember Sea of Thieves and how bad it was at release? Well, now it's entirely changed, and this is why you should play it. Oh, wait. I've seen yeah. that for No Man's Sky this year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. Hopefully they keep putting content into it because there's uh, there's a good base there right like it could be a good game yeah it right. could be yeah it could be so sea of thieves i i guess there was uh like server errors too big problems with uh servers they shut down logins for people so people couldn't actually even play the game which i didn't know that in this day and age you gotta kind of prep for this shit right uh, well, yeah, it happens. Right? Yeah. It happens, but it should be happening less and less and less, and especially when, with when a launch as massive as this. Yes, right. which had several betas to prepare, and from a well, company as giant as fucking Microsoft, it's a flagship. Though it's a flagship title, it's an anchor piece for okay. almost their entire gaming platform. You just had two puns in there. <laughs> what else can you do, huh? Um, uh, something, something about they really, the uh, huh? they really jumped the shark with this one. Am I right, Ooh. boys? Ooh, that's a happy day's yeah. reference. <laughs> uh, yeah, before I played the beta, I was full mast for this game. Oh, yeah, all wood it gave me wood. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it seems like they're really out to sea on their uh, direction. Hmm. Ha cha cha. But now the game's uh, just booty. <laughs> uh, yeah, it? that's uh, yeah. I give up. Uh, we're good. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play it. It's free on Xbox Game Pass. So, well, good luck. Give it a try. Thank you. You're gonna be a lonely boy playing it on Xbox. There. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's the other thing that drives it is like a group of people, right? Like if you have a solid group of four playing it, that definitely yes, would... absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, find some friends, Mill. Do that at Xbox on people. Tell people to go buy it. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Well, I like to play games with friends mostly because uh, when I play games by myself, people get all mad and rage at me. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know uh, what you should do Guido, about that, Guido? that game wrong. Sorry. What? What should I do, Nasty? Mm, you should tell Twitch about it. I should tell Twitch about it? Yeah, yeah I you hear should that cry they... like a baby. <laughs> I Twitch. hear that they would punch you in the face and tell you to shut the fuck up and suck it up. Oh, wow. That <laughs> seems very mean of them. Yeah, Hyper-aggressive? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Riot, Blizzard, and Twitch are teaming up. To fight toxic behavior. Oh, shit. Yeah. They're going to have some sort of uh, giant conference where Papa Papa Riot, uh, Granny Blizz Blizz, and uh, little baby Twitch are going to sit at a round table and talk about what they can do to build a standard of, of, of uh, what? Player That's behavior it. guidelines. Yeah. Yeah, I, how, how they interested. manage, how they deal with toxicity in their games, and setting a standard across the industry. I think that's think what it's actually, about. How much do control, we think they can control human behavior? Uh, um, I think they can control a fair deal of it, especially yeah. like Blizzard, where you have to pay for all their games, versus you know League, where you just get your account banned and go get another one. That's a conversation that they hopefully have then. You know, the people who are free to play or you can more easily obtain accounts for, you know, get banned, buy a new account, get banned, start a new account. Yeah, I think the whole this whole thing, though, is like 
them coming together to say they probably have a giant list of bad things on them. <laughs> bad boys? Yeah, bad boys. Naughty no, boys. just bad actions in, in, oh, in yeah. video games. And then they say, okay, number one, AFK in a competitive game. What do we do about this? What's what's the thoughts, uh-huh. Twitch? And Twitch is right. like, Goo Goo Gaga, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess yeah, yeah. Going, is going. Do you think going AFK is a very popular, malevolent act instead of just trolling at this point? I see I a lot of it. I don't right? know if it's I popular, it. but frustration takes over, and people just you know either leave the game or or just go AFK. I just saw somebody, a uh, close friend of mine, who plays League nonstop, just for the first time ever say, uh, I'm going to sell League because I just had one game too many where somebody went AFK. So from my one member sample, sample size, I was just wondering if it was actually a thing that was getting more pervasive. No, I don't think so. I think it's always been there. But uh, I couldn't see anything bad coming from this. Maybe some good will be done. I'm very skeptical. Uh, of what could they could accomplish? They can set as many fucking guidelines as they want. It's fucking. Well, it's that's coming. my question could, then. Exactly, what, they can set as many guidelines as they want, but it, effic- but efficaciousness is in question. Yeah, they someone, gotta have some uh, way to back them up. We were talking about this in Discord, and someone brought up like um, getting banned in one game would make you banned in the other games, mm. which um, would be. Hard to do, I think, unless they created like a third party system that you had to log in to. Oh be, shit! Like, Game this is your... coming back. Yeah, exactly. Like this is your single player account, player behavior checker account, and you have to sign into it. I don't. I don't think that they'll do, go that far as to implement a, a multi-game wide system. I think that they'll go. They'll just make some rules that they can all agree upon and then each, uh, you know, police them accordingly. Yeah. You know, they'll say, okay, well, a guy saying, uh, fuck you isn't bannable, but you know, if you start throwing out the N word, we're all going to agree that that's a bannable offense. (laughs) (laughs) Here, here? The idea of of them running through like every, (laughs) every, every swear word individually. Right. <laughs> okay. What if what if someone calls you a, a cunt? Ooh. Uh depends. Depends on a lot of factors. I feel. Uh, th- this is a uh, JoJo Booby Bop from Twitch talking right now. Oh, JoJo, <laughs> please continue. Are they a woman? That'd be my first question. <laughs> mm, JoJo, wow. we have to remain gender agnostic. This is the internet. <laughs> Oh, okay. Gender agnostic, would that mean that they believe that there is possibly a higher gender out there, but they're not sure what it is? This is true. (laughs) Oh, wow. It'd actually be more helpful if more people were gender agnostic. Uh, (laughs) Hey, Riot, what do you think about if uh, someone types out an antsy dick in chat and then has it uh, spurting antsy uh, cum on the person's name? Bam. Wow. Oh, me, Reiki. Oh. oh. <laughs> Is that your name, <laughs> the Reiki? The Japanese judge likes it. Oh, yeah, me, Reiki. <laughs> okay, that's good to hear. Yeah, yeah, who knows? I think uh, maybe this is just a PR stunt or something. Who knows? I don't Probably. know if anything's going to come out of it. I'm too cynical and skeptical to believe. You guys but- better pay attention and shape up otherwise we're gonna we're gonna shake our hands at you you better shape up because i need some plans <laughs> wow to make it not so toxic solid right? yeah. yeah what would the uh-huh. refrain be you're the one that i bet like that. <laughs> <Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. laughs> uh that is uh grease <laughs> for those out there so that your grease. meeting it's just grease. turns into a musical <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Remember at the end of Greece where they fucking fly away in a car? What yeah. the fuck was what? going on there? Everyone's waving. Yeah. There's they never 
give any sort of inkling that there that this world is filled with magical <laughs> powers. Are it's you thinking of Back to the Future? Did that really no, happen in I'm Greece? No, I'm thinking of no, no, they the fucking away. movie Greece. Holy shit. Yeah, they flew away in that after Grease lightning car. After the dance is over, ever, after the dance is over in that amusement park, they pile into a car. And it Wait, takes off, to, literally. I need to look this up. Yeah, Olivia Newton-John becomes that bad bitch. Uh, she conforms to the construct of John Travolta, whatever sick, perverted, cisgendered idea he has of a woman. Yeah. And she she just converts to it. Now, and then somebody they fly away. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang as, a, as another film where a car flies. But that the, the, the entire plot of the film revolves around the vehicle. So right. I think there's, there's a, a flying car. Allowance. And, yeah. Yeah. Grease Lightning never, ever was. They never said, hey, this car is going to fly. John Travolta yeah. wasn't like, oh, I think uh, maybe it's going to fly soon. That's not John Travolta. Oh. Uh, he said. <laughs> He said you'd help me move. <laughs> what oh. is that called? Projection? Uh, what? When you allude to a scene that's going to happen later in a movie. Yeah, foreshadowing or right? something. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Except he's just saying, oh, I think my car's <laughs> going to fly. Hey, I think my car going to fly out here. <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely not who, who you think it is. Oh. Yeah, I just watched it on YouTube. That's pretty weird. Yep. Hmm. She even turns around and waves at the people on the ground. Yeah. Uh, you guys try either of these uh, be- mobile battle royales? Right? No, I have not. PUBG no. and uh, Fortnite. 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 Yeah, yeah. No, I actually appreciate myself enough not to play any of those games. <laughs> um. <laughs> I should try it. I'm curious just to see how it handles and how anyone, like in my mind, I can't extrapolate any kind of idea of fun from playing right. one of those first person shooters or third person shooters on Here's, a mobile device. How do you, how do you fucking aim? Like, are you we don't. talking? You try Wait. very hard. Is it, I, I mean, you must either like control it with your finger or with the gyroscope, right? Right, that's what I'm confused about. Like, what do you use to actually control the fucking thing? I don't know. I don't know. I I have enough problems trying to avoid children. I don't need to go out of my way to to increase playing with more of them. I'm going to assume the mobile variant of anything intrinsically will have more kids. What? (laughs) What what did the uh, Greek chef use to see if his meat was uh, fresh? What the fuck? His, uh, a uh, gyroscope. Oh. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Two oh hundred <laughs> episode two fifty, folks. Two fifty. <laughs> we did it. Um, um. Yeah. I might. I might try it. I gotta. I'm just curious. I gotta try it. Yeah. Why don't you try it? I think I'm gonna. My you daughter asked it. if she could get it on her phone. Unmobile? Yeah. My daughter has a phone. What'd you say? Well, I said, one, you should be lucky to have that phone at all. That's for emergencies. You shouldn't be playing on that. Yeah. Don't play on that shit. Uh, Papa, don't two, play no shit. And then I said, two, you're grounded. Oh, shit. Yeah, I grounded her. Why? That'll teach her. For sass and back. I said no sass right, did back. Did she sass back? Uh, I, I could see it coming. Oh, preemptively uh, grounded. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. You're like a precog. Um, precog. Pre, precog. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't go there. Yeah. Precom parent. <laughs> hey, some people are parents because of precom. It's a real you thing. Know, it's true. You know, I had a religion teacher, sophomore year oh, of high Jesus. school, her catchphrase. Her catchphrase was, you know, the pull-out method doesn't work because boys are like basketball players. They always drift where they shoot. Oh, boy. Sounds like my type of girl. It's very graphic. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was in her 60s when I was in high school. So I'm... She was in her 70s? 60s. 60s. I was in high school, oh. so. 
Okay. So her husband's probably dead. So you're probably in the clear. <laughs> oh, <in> the clear, <laughs> baby. Safe bet. Here we go. I Safe love by this. the death. I love those snapping turtles. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got some voice bell. You can't let that go. <laughs> you just can't. All right. Uh, what do you guys say we play a game, huh? <clears throat> oh, sure. Yeah. I love games. Uh, I got this I game Lamb. all set up here, and it's going to be fun. A little 250, episode 250 game here. You guys That's excited fun. for this? I am. Okay. Let's do it. It's no, uh, it's no Julia Roberts, but... It is It'll no do. jewelry, Roberts. You're absolutely right there. Uh, let's uh, let's play it. Let's uh, do this uh, do this game. Here it is. Uh... Oh fuck! God damn it! My my just okay. Segway, 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 segway. Just okay, segue, just okay, segue, 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 just okay, segue, just okay, segue, 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 segue. Oh, Spadachino! Wow. Oh, Spada. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't was, heard that uh, one in a while. Is that old? Uh, How do I not remember that? That's actually like a really good segue. It was created on January 1st. Or January 28th of 2016. Holy oh, shit. Wow. Two, shit. Years yeah. Yeah, two years ago. Spit a chin, though. All right. Be like, <laughs> that could be every, all of our segues. I think it's uh, that good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have here several clips. <clears throat> hey -oh. Sorry. Audio clips oh. that I'm going to play. Our friend, our good friend, and uh, very loyal listener, Snigglebutz, uh, prepped this game for me. I just told him what I wanted, and he prepped it all, so I don't even know the answers. We're going to work together somewhat on this game. Um, so, I have clips here from the podcast. Random clips scattered throughout our 250 episodes. Okay. okay. I'm going to play it. And we're going to all try and decide individually, but we can kind of work together, what episode it was. Oh, God. It's a lot harder than I thought this game was going to be. Yeah. I, will, I will fail this completely. We're playing on a, you know, get as close as you think you can. So, so, so right. we're co-oping this then, you're saying? We're all trying to guess together. Yeah, okay. but if you, if you don't feel answer. a guess is right, you know, then just uh, guess what, whatever you want. There is a story Dude, method. Right. Basically, uh, he made this spreadsheet here, too, that I score everything on. And then you uh, type in a thing, and it will reveal the answer. So I don't even know what, what the answers are. So uh, you guys ready? All right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's, Let's see it. how well we, we know our know own ourselves. podcast. <laughs> All right, here we go. First one, here it is. Life is like a hurricane here in Just Okay Gamers. We will talk about League of Legends on this podcast. And then maybe we will move on to general gaming. Just Okay Gamers, woo! It's a fun time, so listen now. It's Just Okay Gamers, woo! Millpool will get shot with a bullet. Just Okay Gamers, <laughs> Fun time, tell your friends now. It's a good time to listen to, and it's a thing that we do. Just for gamers, woo! Wow, uh, it's a really good time. It's just for gamers, woo! This is early. This yeah. is early. That was bad Wally microphone. So that was a while that was ago. That's bad everybody microphone. Uh, There's so much yeah. noise in the background and That was man. an intro that you did for one of our shows. I remember. It was that. an intro. It was an but intro. I think, um I think it was on the two hundred uh 
extravaganza. I think I get I, that. I implore uh, Twitch chat to make their own guesses. Don't look at the get- guesses, though, guys. Oh, I'm not looking. Um, <laughs> I'm not looking. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we, he, I, I mentioned League of Legends in the beginning there. Right. So we're still doing League of Legends at this point. So it was point. at least so two pre years ago. Pre-190, pre-190. Yeah. Um, so we're competing or are we working together here? Well, we, you know, kind of both. Yeah. You know. We'll, we'll make our guesses. None of our, us are going to get it right on the, not on the no. head. No. I'm going to go with, uh. Oh, nasty with an early guess here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this was somewhere in the 130s. 130s. Yeah, because I don't remember that like living in this house or my last house, and that's coming up on two years. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I remember I made a few of these in a very close to each other. There was the SNL one. And mm-hmm. there was the WrestleMania one. Okay. These are all those are all early, I think. They were. WrestleMania we made or maybe it was Royal Rumble. Either way, it was uh right around WrestleMania thirty one, I believe. Which was three years ago. Mid one hundreds, early mid one hundreds. Because this is before this is before that sounds like my this sounds like my microphone, like my headset mic. I was going to guess later, initially. It is 32. 132? No, WrestleMania 32. Oh. <laughs> I was like, um, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it at mid-hundreds. Like 105? Mid-hundreds? No, mid-hundreds. I'm thinking like 130-ish. One, 142. I'm putting 142. All right. I'm writing my number down, 142. Oh, there's one right. for each of us. Yep. Who, who okay. else has I'm going. I'm going uh, one, 131. 131. Nancy says 131. Millpool? Uh, I'm going to say 151. 151. Wally? 140. 140. All right. Let's have a look and see what it is. It is episode 132. Oh, wow. Wait, really? Did someone guess yeah. that? Nasty guess guessed 131. Nasty guessed 131. Oh, nasty. Nicely done. <laughs> wow, so that's very close. Oh, he's even <laughs> orchestrated. He's got this on an Excel spreadsheet, so he's orchestrated some sort of uh, point total. Oh, nice. I guess it's how many point, how many episodes you're off. Sweet. So Nasty has one point. The lowest score wins. Golf rules. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Millpool mm-hmm. has 19 points. I have eight, and uh, or no, I have 10, and Wally has eight. <clears throat> Interesting game. Interesting game. All right, let's go. Next one. Here it is. Ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Onions, pickles, ketchup, mayo, mustard. Oh, tomato. It's just, it's horseradish. Sam- I kept on building relish. <laughs> Sesame, kale. Oh, seed. Sesame seed. Kale. Uh, mu- uh, mustard. <laughs> I wasn't here for that. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's when we uh, circle jerk uh, what was on our our hamburger. Yeah, and we kept it going over and over. Yeah. Was it was it that, uh, or were we doing a game and we just started naming condiments? I think we were circle jerking what was on a hamburger. I don't know how we got to what we were talking about. What was on the hamburger? But I'm pretty sure we were circle jerking it. Uh, this seems fairly recent. Uh, yeah, it was. It was when I was gone. <laughs> was I gone for Oktoberfest? Uh, I think, I think I it was, was this past year so ever, since episode 200. I think it's in the 200s. Yeah, is my initial. Oh, entry. really? Yeah. 
Uh, that was fun. Uh, that was funny. That's one of my favorite memories of Circle Jerk. Was uh, it sounded fun? I don't remember it exactly. Uh, um, well, I'm just gonna throw a number out. I'm gonna say it was episode. Fuck. Uh, episode fuck. Episode two hundred eight. I'm gonna say two hundred four. Two hundred five. Uh, I'll go two fucking fourteen. Two, two fucking fourteen. Huh? How does two that fucking work? fourteen? Does two fit in between the one and the four, like with its little dip on the bottom, a little mm-hmm. flat part? And stick that right in between the one and the four. Yeah, for my fuck. <laughs> All right, let's Apparently, see what episode everybody, it is. What? Everybody wants me to tell you, and I mean everyone, that you're changing the scenes. Apparently. Oh, am I? Oh shit. Yeah. My bad, guys. Hey, no looking at chat. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, see? No, it's proven that I wasn't looking at chat. Um, Sorry about that, guys. I'm using my numpad, and that's what changes the scenes. All right. I won't use my numpad from now on. Let's see what, what we got here. It was episode 203. Ooh. Oh, my What goodness. did I say? Oh. <laughs> Nasty, you said 204. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. Jesus Christ. Why is Nasty so, so good at this game? I don't know. That was definitely what I was at October. Fucking Fucking Rain Man over here. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. I love it. I figured that was like the most recent that I missed that I know that I wasn't there for. And I know that it wasn't on the most, most recent one. Uh, Good job, guys. Uh, Nasty's in the lead with two points. Yeah, Fucking fuck answer. you guys. Wow. You know what, you guys? I suck at all the other games, but somehow I'm doing okay at this. The memory uh, game. All right. Next one. You guys ready? Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, here it is. So um, today our guest is uh, Killer6942XX is what his handle is. Um, Boy, you got that wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's small X, early. capital X. Is this the first killer of 69? Yeah. Capital X, small X, 420. And that's all spelled oh, my, out, too. My apologies, sir. My apologies. Um, so, Mr. Killer here, is that okay if I call you that? Yeah, you can call me Killer. Oh, first appearance of Killer. Man, that was, wow, that that's, was that's we, early. horrible sounding. We sounded yeah, is that fucking what we sound rough. Like, or was this compressed <laughs> to shit? No, no that was... That's what we sounded like. Oh, my God. Yeah, do I still sound that way? Because that's no, the same don't. fucking no, microphone. No, none of us sound like that. Holy shit, that was bad. Um, yeah, that's early. Um, Jeez, I'm going to say, probably, like, 30s. Yeah, like. I was going to say 29. No. Yeah, 29. 29. Um, I'm going to stick close to nasty. I'm going to go 33 on this one. I think it was in the eh? first. It was definitely within the first year. I'm going to go earlier. I think it's earlier than that. I think okay. we got to the first guest a tad earlier than, than what you guys. Oh, doing. you know what? Yeah. yeah I, I don't think, think you're right. Killer Can was I the first first, though. No, you was can't he? change your answer. Uh, I'm going to say 10 <laughs> as my sh- new answer. Pretty sure that libido was the first guess that I'm we I'm putting had. 11 down. I remember Oof. it was a very early character concept that Guido came up with. I will also do 11. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wally riding the wave, huh? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's see what it is. It's episode 11. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Where was I? 20 points off? Jesus. That's the one, I mean, 11's a flagship. If you haven't listened to 11, you gotta listen to the first introduction of Killer 6 that Maybe don't. Maybe, Based on yeah. that audio quality. You could pass. Yeah. Good job, guys. Nasty, you got a few points there. Yeah. I should have won earlier. Yeah, you bonked out of the lead. Wally's what? in the lead now. That bonked me out of the lead? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, considerably out of the lead. Uh, Wally's in the lead. I'm in second. And Nasty, you're in third. No pool. Oh. What so about you're also playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready for the next one? Let's do it. Here we go. Do it. Yeah. Uh, well, let's carry him out to my pickup truck. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Your, new, okay. your new Dodge Ram. 
right? Yes, Eddie? my brand new Dodge Ram. This uh, <laughs> podcast is sponsored by Dodge. I wanted to make uh, sure we slid that in there before they got rid of us. Buy a Dodge Ram. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's big, big enough to hold a casket. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Several, actually. Are you, who are in those other caskets in your Dodge Ram? Oh, those are my shitting them. caskets. Oh, your shit. Yeah, don't. <laughs> do not open going. those. Do not open them up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't. Is that the first funeral we crashed? Is that what that's Tom that's, Petty? Yeah, that's, that's Tom Petty. Reason. Yeah, that's Tom Petty. And I think Hugh Hefner was before Tom Petty, and we had Black and on. Yeah, yeah, Hugh Hefner was the first. Hugh Hugh was during Oktoberfest. Because I wasn't here for that one. <laughs> Everything yeah, okay. revolves around Tom yeah. Petty. <laughs> and Tom Petty died at the beginning of this year. Boom, right? boom, boom, Did he? Boom, boom. Uh, yeah, yeah, like the first week of the year, I thought. I, I thought it was the fall. Oh, it was a bit earlier than that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go... Um... <laughs> uh... Two, two thirty five, two thirty five. I was thinking the two thirties too. I'm glad yeah, we're yeah. both in that headspace. Yeah, I think two thirty five ish. I'm gonna Maybe go two, a little earlier. Two thirty four is what oh, my we just guess is. Slide <laughs> fucking prices right here or what? Yeah. <laughs> one dollar, Bob. Yeah, <laughs> one dollar, oh, yeah. Bob. One dollar. What do you guys? Two forty. Two forty. Woo! That might be better. That might be better. I don't know. Oh shit! I'm using the fucking numpad again. My bad, guys. Sorry. Jesus, Guido. I Five you years. know I'm used to using the numpad. Yeah, you usually not type filling in Excel spreadsheets on the podcast. Right. Uh, let me see. This is okay. I turn on unlock, so it won't happen anymore. Well, I'm gonna go. Uh, two thirty-eight. Two thirty-eight. Two thirty-eight. All right, let's see what it is. Oh, wow. We were all pretty far off. Yeah? Fuck. What was it? It's uh, episode 227. Oh, shit. I should have gone closer to 230. Damn it. (laughs) A little bit. That's, I think, the closest I've been, so I'm happy. (laughs) I was within three months, so I was good. (laughs) Uh, I mean, it's It's a pretty blur, man. It's a five-year-long blur. Oh, it's pretty yeah, much yeah. a dead heat between me, Nasty, and Wally right now. I have 22 okay. points. Wally has 23 points. And Nasty has 28 points. <clears throat> uh, sorry, Millpool. Uh, you're also playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Millpool, I think you got those, How many points those do scores this <laughs> last answer. Uh, you have 63 points. Oh, I'm winning. <laughs> Add us all together and we're still yes. about at you. <laughs> I am the best. All right. You guys ready for the next one? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Here it is. A champion (laughs) has arisen. Yeah. We all knew what was coming. A new champion has run the gauntlet and has claimed his spot in the history books of professional video games. (laughs) (laughs) And that champion is... um, Samsung White. Samsung White. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Wow. Well, that's it. Time for uh, general gaming. It's time for general gaming. This is we will talk about general gaming. So how about that rust? Oh, rust. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> you can hear, you can hear, you can really hear the apathy in... Your voices from over Did League. one of our yeah? Were we pod, were we doing the pod during one of our Rust Golden Ages? Yeah, yeah. That uh, shit. That was like three been, or four years no, ago. It might have no. been dot, when they were remaking Rust. What about Dot yeah. Dot? Wasn't that wasn't that? That was way our, before, that was before the podcast. Oh, you sure? I uh, think it was. I could have sworn was, some people remember Dot Dot from our community though, like the early people. Don't they? Or was that Louie? I'm thinking of Louie. Probably. You're focusing on Russ too much. When yeah. did Samsung White win the fucking? I don't yeah. fucking know. So Samsung White. I think we were at Con that year and we were watching it in Toronto. If I'm remembering correctly, in Toronto. In Toronto. 
for Canada Con. I think that was the year, and it was like 2015, I want to say. This is going to be an equalizer because I have no fucking clue. I can kind of base um, it on the quality of the microphones. Um, so the last con decal that I have on the side of my computer is from May 2014. If we're going with that. Oh, 2014? Could have been yeah. 2014. It's October, so it's the end of the year. So yeah, right. maybe 2014. So, so four years ago. Yeah, three or four years ago. Um, uh, I'm going to take okay. a stab at it. Go I for think. it. I'll be the first one. I'm going to say it's episode... Oh, shit. Fuck! I'm going to say it's episode 107. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. That's a total stab in the dark. But, but, I'm going to go like... with episode... Uh, 73 73 um yeah i'm I'm leaning towards uh nasty i'm gonna say oh boy um 80 80 all right yes 85 85 all right boys here we go and the answer is of course Episode 82. Oh, oh baby. Shit. I'm back in the game. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm back in it. I'm number one. Wally coming in. The lead. Wally's doing it. I, I, was, well, I was waiting the last and gauging my answer. Like, so I, I gamed it a little bit. But yeah, I like the lower. End. You got to game it. A little, it was four years ago, right? So it just, yeah. like, or three, I get it. But I mean, like, it just felt old. So I, think I can't believe we were that. Uh, uninterested in it. You, know? you were never interested in. I know. In I know. Yeah, yes. I was never. But you'd think at the earlier stages we would have been trying to push it or at least report on it or something. We were. You were not. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think your interest in league was waning pretty hard at that point already. Yeah. Really? The well, competitive side. Yeah. Aspects of it. Hundred yeah, percent. You've sure. never been into competitive. You liked watching it. We've always talked about that, but like actual the, the nitty gritty discussion of it, you were never really into. All right. Well, there it is. Okay. Also, here's the next was, one. What? It was funnier too. That way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. That's and that's what we're all about around here. Entertainment. Yeah, the humor. We're bringing the funny back. You know, let let Justin Timberlake bring the fucking sexy back. We're bringing the funny back, baby. I'm bringing funny back. All right, next one. Here it is. Topical. It's the Just OK Gamers Podcast with Wally, Millpool, Nasty, General Gaming Audio interviews from PAX Musical guest Alien and Farm And your host Guido So that was the year that Mill and I walked around with the microphone uh yeah that's Apex. right oh yeah it was also the episode that we had alien at farm on what was oh, i doing yeah that's right at PAX. you were you were doing the same thing we were all doing it i just yeah, remember mill up. mill introduced me as some famous league of legends oh yeah i do player that. <laughs> yeah we uh we talked to like a group of kids and their parents were there and they that were was like what the fuck that was pax three years ago yeah so I'm going to have to go with uh, episode 158. That math doesn't add up. You said three years ago, and you're t- picking an episode from two years oh. ago. Oh. Yeah, okay. No, you're right. 108, then. Nasty's going 108. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
I kind of want to go with nasty here, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, what? like, it was three years ago. Yeah, yeah because, because we didn't last go last year, year. What? We didn't go last year. The year before you guys did all chat. Yeah. Right. No, and then the no. year before that. Oh yeah. Last year, we did go. No, we did not go last. No, year. you didn't go last year. You didn't go last year. No. You didn't go last year. The year before that. Wally came. Uh, and we did all chat. You did all chat, and then the year before that. I did the one before that too. The year before that, I it think had to be right. three year. Yeah, three years. Yeah, so it's gonna be around a hundred. Yeah, around a hundred. I'm gonna put it at. I'm gonna put it at one oh three. No, one oh two. I went. To um. No. Oh. Yeah, one oh one oh two. I'll go one oh five. I want to do one oh six. One oh five. Okay. Uh, what did you pick, uh, Wally? One oh five. Millpool. One oh six. Nasty. One oh eight. All right, let's see what we got here, baby. Episode one hundred. On the dot? Oh, wow. On the dot. I can't wow. remember. You'd think we would have done something better, more special on episode 100. You would think. <laughs> apparently not. Yeah, apparently not. Well, put it in I context. I guess that is kind the of a SNL special thing intro. was special. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that intro itself was yeah. special. I mean, that Look, entire uh, first, like, 100 episodes, we were doing things like that. Are you ready to rumble episode? We all thought it was super cool. So, I mean, you know, yeah. got to put it in context. Yeah, nothing. I, lo- I love anymore. your Don Pardo, by the way. Thanks. Don yeah, peace. Rest, rest in peace. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Here it is. Uh, yeah, let's do it. But it's not for another sixty years. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, when we're sixty, we'll just like drive cars at each other. No, when we're ninety. It's the, oh, it's the suicide pack. A suicide pack. It's, it's, uh, I have is no that, idea. Is that the God exception? damn. We've brought that up on several episodes. Though. Yeah, that's, that's the exception. Early. Uh, I'm going to go uh, episode 42. That sounds really good for 42, though. Can you play it again? Really? It can yeah, I can shit. play it again. Here it is. Maybe but wrong. it's not for another 60 no, it's years. Oh, really? Yeah. So like when we're 60, we'll just like drive cars at each other? No, when we're 90. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty early. Yeah, I think I, it's I don't know when though. I'm gonna put it at I'm gonna put it at shit. I hate going first. I already went first. <laughs> I said forty two. Well, what did you say? Forty two? Yeah. Oh, how All about right. I go for how about I go first? How about I go first to make it easy? Okay. I'll go fifty. Okay, fifty for Wally. No pool? Um, geez, I'm gonna go 25. Oh, wow, wow, that's very fair. Early. That's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna go 37. Oh, god. All right, here we go. Let's see what it is. It's episode 44. Wow, man, nasty again. Nasty, what did got I say? It. 42? It 42. 42. <laughs> You're good, dude. That's good. Yeah, you're doing well. Um, yeah, I almost went like 30s, and then I was like, eh. Yeah. Man, Jay Reed needs to get on this fucking podcast. I feel like he's listened to the podcast like 100 fucking times. Right. He'd be like, yeah. oh, yeah, 44. Uh, no, p- uh, easy. 44, for sure. All right, moving on. Ugh. Next one. <laughs> Rack it up. All right, here's the next one. Oh, so there are souls? Yeah, yeah, they're souls. So you, what we've been doing to Millpool is a crime not against just man, but, you know, God, really. It's just nature in general, huh? Nature, yeah, yeah. Wow. We've been tearing Are you saying apart. I, I don't have a soul? Well, you do have a soul. It's just like, like a, it's like really horribly destroyed, like a retarded kid. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably just like generations of inbreeding kind of thing Yeah, going on here with your soul. <laughs> Wait, it so escapes then, your body and it just starts walking into the wall over okay, and over I got and over. A, I got a question for you guys, though. Like, how are starfish then? 
Because How are starfish <laughs> then? <laughs> because if you cut them in half, wait. they'll regrow both no, let's halves. Just, let's dissect that question. <laughs> yes. That's the one. God, Jesus. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I don't remember any of this at all. <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> I have no real. idea, though. How are starfish then? <laughs> oh. Man. Uh, that one was a while ago. That was a while yeah, ago. It's, it's, that was that was two years ago. Was it that long? Really? That was, that was. I want to say like a year tops. I think it was in the hundreds. Yeah, late hundreds. Really? really? Yeah. Okay. Mm, uh, I, I have man. no idea. I'm gonna honestly. go 181. 181 says nasty. Ooh, I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna stick around nasty on this one. I'm gonna go 188. All right, we got a 181 and 188. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go a little earlier and say 169. 69. <laughs> 69. <laughs> nice. One. Uh, 175. 175 from the old Wallster. All right, let's see Going what it is. Down. Shit. It's episode that- 199. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Millpool, were you above me? Yeah, 88. Nice. Nice. Good job, guys. Wally's still in the lead. Some Somehow. Hell. He's just skating along. Yeah, he's just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, am pl- I am playing the casino rules. Yeah. I'm hoping to get that big one. I'm waiting yeah, for you guys to right be on. like, yeah, I think it's uh, 82. Hole yeah, one. I think I'll put to do 85. And I'm like, no, motherfuckers, it's 143. <laughs> 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 oh, can you imagine? All right. That would, that would be great for you. That would be great for me. I can't wait for it to happen. It's not going to happen. All right, here's the next one. Here it is. <laughs> You're listening to Just Okay Gamers. We're this week. I I don't know what to say, guys. <laughs> what do you say? I uh, I apologize first and yeah. foremost. <laughs> we know what did you do? Mostly to the three of you, but also to our audience who's going to have to listen to this. <laughs> but I know, uh, I know it. two weeks ago, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I uh, I made the bold statement of saying if we get to forty voicemails in two weeks. Oh, we'll I do don't know it. an all voice moil episode. Okay. Okay. Uh, guess what, guys? <laughs> what? How happened? many do we get? Like t- two? Twelve. Tops. Twelve. Yeah, thirteen, maybe. Fourteen. Close. Close. Fifteen. Three. We have fifty-three voice moils. Oh my god! Oh, fuck. Shit. Uh, I don't know. I thought for a second that it was the famed episode ninety-nine. Because I'd start off apologizing. <laughs> um, I know that this was when I was at my last apartment, <clears throat> so it was definitely before May of last year. But I do think that it was still within the year. I want to say it was around the twenty-four hour stream that we did, which I think was in March time frame, maybe February. February sounds better. Huh. So you're saying it's in the 200s? Yeah, somewhere around there. I'm going to go with 205. 205 from Nasty. Gosh, I feel like it's earlier. Yeah, me too. I have no idea, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I take that back. I feel like it's before episode yeah, yeah. two. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with one hundred and ninety seven. I'm changing my answer. One ninety seven, huh? Yeah. Sorry, my math was off. I was going like a couple after two hundred, but it was definitely more than a year ago. Ninety seven. I'm gonna go a little earlier. Don't let that bite you in the ass. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Shit. I'll go one ninety. And I gotta go check on my dog. He's getting into shit upstairs. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. I maybe we did do episode 200 first. 
And then I said something in, during episode 200, like, we'll never get, we'll never get that many voicemails. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a year old to me. It feels more recent. I'm going to put episode shit. Oh, man. One. One. Oh, God. Did we quit League? Did we stop League? Uh, I don't know. Oh, man. This is hard. Just stop your head. Just give a number. All right. I'm going to give it uh, fucking 207. 207. No, I'm going earlier. I'm going 196. Okay. Um, I'm going to go later. I'm going to go 210. Is this the same one? Did I miss something? Or is it- no. no. Still the same, same one. one. All right. Let's see what it is. It's episode 185. Ooh. Ooh. Man, <laughs> I'm bad at this game. <laughs> uh, it was kind of close. What did I say? 192? Uh yeah, no you said one ninety seven. Oh one ninety seven. Damn it! And Wally just racking up points. We were still doing league during that. Wow, Jesus! Can't believe that. What did Wally say? One ninety. One ninety. God damn! I just all averaged right. out all your guys' answers. There. You guys ready for the final one? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Here it is. Hey guys. Uh, yeah, what's up? On? Not much. Oh, kind of hungry. Uh, original. Yeah. Here, take a oh, you got slab of this raw meat. Okay. <laughs> Should I cook it or <laughs> no? Nope. No. All right. Oh my god, guys! I made him eat himself. <laughs> what? Oh, no, nothing. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> yeah. That was Millpool fed Millpool. That's early Mike. That's early Mike Wally. I can tell from the voice. Um, Yeah, my mic is really bad there too. Uh, That was when I was in Baltimore, I'm pretty sure, which was a year and a half to two years ago. Two years, about 100 episodes. I'm going to go ahead and say... I'm gonna put one, it in. Oh, go. One forty even. One hundred and forty even. One forty says. Oh boy. Um, um. Two years is how many episodes? A hundred. It's about a hundred. I was gonna say one. F- f- I'm not settled on it yet, but I'm thinking one fifty. Because that would give say- it. A- I'm going to say 162. 62. All right. Uh, 155. Final offer. Oh, 155, huh? Wow. Well, this is my chance. Yeah. <laughs> this is my chance, guys. Gold, man. I got to. Like, 90, Nail it. Yeah, I'm, 92. I'm, I'm setting it. I'm going to think it. I think it's 94. 94. <laughs> I don't think it's 94. Oh. No, 94. I got to go for the win, man. <laughs> All in, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a stretch, man. But good luck. Thanks. All right, here it is. Let's see what it is. <sighs> Wally. You're one off. It's 154. Oh! Fucking wow. yeah! Damn. Damn. That was close, too. Hot damn. Hot diggity. Hot diggity damn. Nice work, guys. Uh, the winner is Wally. Wally coming in with the win, even in non game games. Just okay, gamers historian Wally. Yeah. Wally has uh, 67 points. Nasty came in second with 91. Ooh. Uh, Millpool bringing up the rear or the third place with uh, 134. And <laughs> Guido. Respectable. Last place, 157 points. Yeah, how many did? How many of those points were his last <laughs> answer? Uh, like 100 well, we of those. We can do the math here. Yeah, it's <laughs> what did you say? 97 plus three plus like 54. Yeah, whatever. 57 off. Yeah. 
Good job, guys. Good job. That That's fun. a fun game. Yeah. yeah That's probably the only time we'll play this. Thanks for putting that together. Snickle. Yeah, thank you, Sniggle Boots. Real good job. Real good work there. Uh, but now we have to do voicemails. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. We, we got a long episode, guys. We're running a little long. I'm yeah, actually going to go get a drink while the segue plays, so you guys talk after the segue. All right. We have a new voicemail. <laughs> you want to listen to the voicemail. <laughs> Oh boy, um, five years, guys. It's been a while, guys. <laughs> been a while. It's uh, been a, a long time. Do you see us doing this for another five years? Fuck Absolutely. no. <laughs> Nasty always says no to these questions. <laughs> but the, but here we are, man. Yeah, I feel like you said strong. that a year li- a year ago, and here we are. Yeah, it's still going strong. Still going strong. All right, yeah. you guys ready to do some voice moils? Yeah. Yes. Sweet. All right. First one. Here it is. Hey, guys. Congrats on five years. It's Rudy Dinosaur. In the couple of years you've had, you know, doing the podcast, if you ever had a night where all four of you couldn't come on and you had to pick from the guests that you've had, who get, who would you pick as your, like, custom foursome to take over for a night? All right. Have a good pod. Mm, who would Good we question. have for guest it uh from the community or just in general i think he said in, of guests of we've guests had on. that oh. we've had on i got a team right now go yeah, bomb hab biggie no, size guests what? that we've had on not like from, oh, from the, community? the community not listeners oh not oh, listeners from the, let's see uh nola uh, nola's or yeah. miles because they what's probably the, have that? some synergy who is the voice actor brit guy he was he was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Lube? Lube? Lube. Lube would be on my team, yeah. I think I think it's pretty easy for me. I'd really like to hear Lube, Uber Guitar Dude, oh, yeah. Magikarp, and... Professor Milk? Uh, maybe Professor Milk. Yeah. Yeah, but. Professor Milk is on my dream team for sure. All of I think the it's, dice it's him. It's Sunny. Yeah, Sunny from the Yordles. Oh yeah, Sunny too. And um, I, geez, it's too hard Rockinola to choose. And Zyrene is my final one. Ooh. Actually, oh, and Dash. Too. I forgot Diet. Yeah. I forgot Diet Rash. I would maybe do Z- Diet Zyrene Rat. and Dash, but I don't know. You know, I look back on that more and more, and I really think he hated the Diet Rash. <laughs> He's a, he's a, he's a tough nut to crack. He is a tough nut to crack. Thanks, uh, Fruity. Good question. All right. Next one. Here it is. Hey, guys. It's Shrek. Um, Just wanted to call you and wish you congratulations in five years. That is a crazy amount of time. Um, I started listening to you guys, I think, in your second year. And... Just, I don't know, man, the last three, four years have been fantastic, and a lot of it's been because of you, and um, you guys, have, I, per, I don't really listen to music anymore, I just listen to podcasts, and you guys were kind of the first podcast I got into, and um, just wanted to thank you for the endless hours of content, of entertainment, and I, I mean, I hope for another five years at least. I uh, love you guys, bye. Oh my goodness! Is wow. this just going to be one big sap fest? It's fucking Aww. tearjerker! Thank you, Shrek, Shrek yeah. boy. We love you. Appreciate Shrek. it, Shrek. Um, he's been with us for uh, for a good, good minute, amount of dude. time. Yeah, that's good. I mean, if we can bring a little bit of uh, fun fun to someone's day, their you know possibly boring commute or. Uh, out for a little exercise or their job the where they're just sitting there that's great you know right you can do that thank you yeah. 250 here we go next one what up it's long time listener first time caller have a good show keep up the good work it's truly truly bad truly bad i like it i like it he was so nervous about leaving. Yeah, the show. <laughs> yeah he was talking what, on Discord about uh, how nervous he was. 
that, was, that was awesome thank you thanks for calling dude i appreciate it short and sweet yeah yep. to the point we need some of those with all these yeah definitely. <laughs> Not... <laughs> all right next one here it is Oh, it's Biggie Size, here to say congratulations on five years with the pod. That truly is incredible, and I think you have oh. built a wonderful podcast, as well as a great community around it, and I am always very thankful to be a part of it, and uh, thank you so much, and I'm very curious, over the next five years, if you could pick at least one goal that you would hit, that would be the primary goal that you'd like to see accomplished, what would that goal be? All right. Thanks, guys. Primary goal for five Jeez. years. Our five-year goal. I actually have this. So, oh, you do? Yeah. Thanks for no, sharing. I, I have. not. <laughs> no, not like for the podcast. I mean like oh. personal goal. Like my five-year personal goal is to be working for myself and not for somebody else. Mm. Whether that's doing like this or whether that's doing something else. I don't know yet. So trying to figure that out right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's good to set goals, but <laughs> but it's but it's, 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 <laughs> but fuck it's so, that so, shit. So, it sounds so patronizing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even like, think of that. I see your uh, goals, but you're not gonna achieve them. Nasty. <laughs> I'm proud of you for doing that, but <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. Let's get real here. Is that no, going to be your to build? Your daughter to you? Um, just, let's just think back five years ago. What goal would we have set as we were starting this out? What What's like a realistic goal that we probably would have set? I remember some goals that we did say, set. Do you? Yeah, I, I don't, don't remember any of those. I would say just like <laughs> I th I think people one to of listen them. to us. Yeah, 100 listeners, I think, was like one yeah. of our goals. No, but... I remember driving uh, driving home from PAX or something before the podcast even started. And I said, man, we could do that. Uh, how about this? First, w after one year, we get media passes yeah. to PAX. Still haven't. <laughs> Well, you have at, yeah. two in two years. <laughs> Wait, we'll is be this at a be panel. Really depressing. Two years, we'll have our oh, own no. panel at PAX. Oh no! I remember saying that, and here we are. <laughs> can't, I submitted, can't I submitted even panel ideas. Five years the PAX later. One. Yeah, you did. They were like, uh, "Fuck you!" Yeah, they were fuck that. Fuck these guys. Have you seen some of the panels this year, man? Yeah, I know. Fucking they bullshit. want entertainment. Like that they come to year, us. Man. They're like that every year. We could, I know we could do as good as some of those. Yeah, we don't have the following, though. Yeah. That's our biggest problem. Uh, realistic five-year plan, I'd say just to... Pro I mean, it'd be wonderful if we doubled what we currently have as listeners. <laughs> oh, man. That would be I hope so wonderful. in another five years. Jeez. <laughs> I, I hope we do in, like, a year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, thanks, Biggie. Um, yeah, oh. thank you, Biggie. We do not deserve Biggie size. The world does not deserve Biggie size. Oh, by he's the way, great to us and his podcast is fantastic, and he's a great host in his own right. And he's got a great mic to too. It. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we should mention that uh, Biggie size has uh, uploaded the movies, Patreon mo movie episodes to its own iTunes stream. Uh, you can get it on any podcatcher, I think. Or if you can't get it on your podcatcher, whatever you use to listen to podcasts, you can hop on Discord and talk to Biggie Size and say, hey, I want to listen to your shit, but I can't get it on whatever I use. Uh, it's called Just Okay Movies. Uh, do a search for it. After you're done listening to this, listen to one of those episodes. I think we we just did a little mini episode where we talked about, we broke down the Infinity War trailer. So do that. Nice. All righty. You guys ready for the next one? Yes. You know it. All right. Here it is. Hey, guys. This is Snickle Boots. I just wanted to say thanks for the many years of entertainment and laughing and a uh, community that feels more like a family. And you're uh, a quarter way to a thousand. So keep it up. Thanks. Quarter century, baby. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Sniggle. Yeah, thank I you. I appreciate Sniggle. it. 
Thanks for everything you do around here. Yeah, yeah. man. Sniggle has been huge in our community. I remember Sniggle. when he just posted on Reddit and he didn't want to join Discord. And mm -hmm. look at him now. Mm -hmm. Look at him now traveling to the United States to hang oh. out with us for just OKCon. Mm -hmm. We kind of jumped right to the travel thing, so this is an underwhelming comparison, but I was going to say the <laughs> piggyback on the, the Discord thing. He didn't want to get on, and now he's a moderator for the community. Yeah, he would just send us uh, segues and hang out on Reddit. <laughs> Good yeah. times. Good shit. Thanks, Sniggle. All right. Uh, I, <clears throat> I lost track, so I'm going to play one of these and see maybe if we played it already or not. Oh, it's Biggie. Oh, it's Biggie, Biggie says. What about this one? Hi, Just Okay Gamers. Mount Sage here. 250 episodes. That's quite an achievement. Five years of your lives being used to make this podcast. It's something to be proud of. Congratulations. My question this week is, uh, what is your favorite game from the sixth generation of consoles? The sixth generation being PS2, the original Xbox, and the Dreamcast. So your favorite game for one of those consoles. That's it. Bye. Mm. Mm. Uh, Thank you, Mountain Sage. I already know. Oh shit! I got to think of the original Xbox One. What the fuck was it called? Uh, I uh, said PS2, Xbox, and what? GameCube. GameCube. Dr or Dreamcast? Dreamcast. 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 Yeah. I didn't actually play much Dreamcast, so all I can say is like the Taxi game. And I think that was Crazy demoed at Toys R Us. Crazy Taxi. Heck yeah, yeah. Man, that's a solid choice, dude. That was it's hella a solid fun. choice. It's a classic Great soundtrack. Uh, this is an uh, era I don't have a lot of experience with, uh, but there's one game that I played a lot of on the original Xbox because my roommate had it, and I was super into this movie. And it was an IP. It was a movie that was turned into a game years after the release of the movie, and it's called The Warriors. You guys remember the oh, Warriors? Yeah, yeah. I had that game yeah. for Xbox. Yeah. That was, it was a good dope. game. It was fun. You yeah. yeah, I got. You know what? I never finished it. I got it right before the 360. Before I bought my 360, and then it wasn't backwards compatible. Mm. But it was a very good game. Yeah. yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. I find it very difficult to pick one game. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. It, so I guess. Oh, go ahead, sir. Both of mine are snowboarding games, actually. Because okay. I think it was just the time of my life where I was like snowboarding and skateboarding a lot. For the Xbox, it was Amped. And for PS2, it was ESPN Snowboarding, which is more of like backcountry. So, yeah, that's about it for me. <laughs> cool. Nice. Yeah, um, I never had a PS2. I'd say for Xbox, like Halo definitely was a big game. All the Splinter Cell games, I was super into those. And Dreamcast, it was like Rush 2049, Power Stone 2. Yeah, yeah. PlayStation 2, um, one of the Final Fantasies, you can probably take your pick. Uh, I guess uh, uh, I'll, uh, Okami for the Nintendo and uh, Halo. For Xbox, the original Halo. Oh, I forgot about Halo. Yeah, oh, Halo's the Halo's introduction of like online gaming to consoles. That was yeah. a generation. I, I just realized why Mountain Sage is asking this. Why? Why? <laughs> His YouTube channel. Well, no, he's well, he's been hoarding up and buying out all these old consoles and showing them in the Discord. Yeah. You know, buying a bunch of games. He he just wants some, some suggestions on what to play on his old uh, new consoles. <laughs> Hey man, I love retro gaming. It's great. Yeah, retro gaming is great. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Mountain Sage. Next voice moil. Here it is. Hey, Just Okay Gamers. Yellow Sprite here. My question for you all this week if you were a flavor of potato chip, what flavor would you be? I'm currently eating some jalapeno lime, but I would prefer some honey glazed ham potato chips. Thanks. Have a good pod. Bye. Uh, my favorite potato chips that I can't get anywhere here is squid. Yeah, uh, the travel abroad Ugh. got you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Squid's yeah, really them. good. It's fucking delicious. Millpool would probably I pick those fucking truffle chips and 
rich ass <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> well, give me them, give me them truffle chips. No, I was gonna say, just plain, plain salted, P- plain old potato <laughs> chips. <laughs> Uh, That's me, right? I mean, not even on. wavy ruffles, <laughs> just, no. just some basic yeah. lays. What What about your fully loaded ones that you can only get up in Canada, Dairy? Oh, oh, all, all dressed. dressed? Yeah, now all you're dressed. speaking my language, baby. Yeah, all there you all go. Dress. It's basically ketchup and a hint of other things. Yeah, it's like ketchup and barbecue mixed together, kind of. It's it's like uh, a tangy barbecue, basically. It's really I like good. It. just try it. It's a kick in the glass. Gochi brought some to Khan. It was good. Um. What a, uh, for me, it's uh, sea salt and vinegar. Okay. Word. Let's see. What's a chip that's kind of like overweight and balding, a single dad? Uh, maybe the, like, fully, say, the fully like loaded Pringles. potato. Sits fully at the bottom of the potato. Sits at the bottom of the bag, just like doesn't want to be eaten. You're like, you're like a combo, I think, like, more than a chip. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a pizza combo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. And I love combos. And I, oh, I'd roll, me? I'd roll you up and pop <laughs> no, you in my mind. mouth. Come on, yeah, you I were want... about to say it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> say it. No, it's episode two fifty. That's my five-year goal. <laughs> yeah, to finally profess <laughs> how you feel about me. <laughs> yeah, I'm a combo, motherfuckers. All right, next one. Here it is. Hey, it's Porridge. Uh, congrats on 150 episodes. I don't have much to say. Hope everyone's having a great episode. All right, bye. Jesus. <laughs> Porridge, episode Thanks, 150 Porridge. was two years ago, you dumb idiot. <laughs> did he say 150? <laughs> he did say 150. Serious? Hey, it's Porridge. Uh, Congrats on 150 episodes. Oh my god! Not much to say. <laughs> Classic porridge. I mean, I mean Classic porridge. Maybe it's one of those. Maybe it's one of those really subdued. Maybe the sub porridge joke. Porridge jokes where he's like intentionally saying it wrong, mm. but it sounds oh, like could it. be. Could be. Yeah. Oh, they got. I got. You guys got me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> yep. That sounds like porridge. All right. Yeah. You know, I, I think we should kick him out of the league uh, group. Yeah, no, right. Kick him out of the league group. That's that's yeah, ground. Let's get him out of there. <laughs> okay. Can someone take care of that for us? Just get yeah. him right out of the group. <laughs> I got him. Gerbil, out- Jay Reed. <laughs> He's out of the group. <laughs> All right. Next voicemail. Here it is. Oh yeah, I meant to say two fifty, not one fifty. My bad. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, All right. Never mind. Never mind. No, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Bring him back in. Get him back in there. Get him yeah, back. Put in. him back. Put him back. <laughs> All right. Next voicemail. Here it is. Hey guys, um, I just got out of Annihilation, it's the new Natalie Portman flick, um, and I was just wondering if anyone's seen it, and what their opinion of it was. It. Um, I can't tell if it was shit or if it, there was just this deeper meaning that I didn't understand. But yeah, if you guys have seen Annihilation featuring Natalie Portman, let me know. I think uh, that guy that plays Poe is also in it, or his husband or something, I don't know. Anyway. If you guys have seen Annihilation, like, <laughs> I I have a promotion, but I, I just wanted to, it sounds like my grandpa is explaining a movie he just saw to me. I saw that Natalie Portman film, Annihilation. It's got Natalie Portman <laughs> yeah. in it. Yeah. yeah. No, I have not seen this. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Oh, really? No, it's really? a movie I've been trailers for to. Really? What is it about? Uh, like there's some sort of dome or force can, can field I guess? that's, yeah, can I guess, go, is it about it. annihilation? Um, possibly the annihilation of earth. I've only watched the trailer, so I couldn't really tell you. Um, but there's like a force field or some sort of wavy curtain that, uh, if you pass into it, things are mutating, uh, the, the environment and animals and stuff. Uh, this guy goes uh, across it with a team and, the team is lost, and one of the guys comes back. He's the only one that's ever come back. So they send more people into it to try and find stuff. I don't know. That's all <laughs> I could gather from the trailer. Uh, it sounds like, um, uh, what is that really bad movie with John Travolta that we Greece? watched? Greece? Battlefield Earth. Oh. <laughs> <Greece>. <laughs> sounds like Greece. Battlefield Earth. 
Yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. I actually wanted to go see that uh, on my next day off. Your next movie trip? Yeah, my next movie trip. <laughs> yeah, it sounds cool. I might check it out now that I know about it. Yeah. Looks pretty sweet. <laughs> okay. How about some enthusiasm in your voice there, Nasty? <laughs> I'm watching the trailer. Sorry, oh. like I was in the middle of watching it to see like what the fuck it was all about. All right, next voicemail. Here it is. Hey guys, it's Tito. I was just listening to my backlog of episodes, and I heard someone ask you a question about who you're subscribed to on YouTube. But I was wondering, is there anyone you watch on YouTube that you think deserves more attention than they get? Thanks. Oh, yes, man. but not anybody that listens to this podcast is actually going to go watch who is it uh his name is chris salamone and his channel is four eyes furniture and he makes like really well produced videos uh, about woodworking and furniture making um hmm. i have an honest answer to this too and it's geeky as but it's geeky as that in a different way go uh, uh trex Pertise. Uh, it's, uh, it's like Star Trek, but expertise, Trek expertise. He's only got like 70,000 subscribers, which I think in the long run is actually isn't a lot still. And he does right. this really great production value videos with good monologue breakdowns of the lore and science behind Star Trek. He does episode recaps and it's done in a really mature and entertaining way. And if you're a Star Trek fan, you know, if you want to explain Star Trek to people that you think may like it, they haven't got into it. It's a great state, great, uh, YouTube channel. Cool. Nice. I got one. Um, it's, uh, I think it's like sitting at uh, 1,600, 1,600 uh, uh, subscribers. Sub? Yeah. yeah. Shit. They, <laughs> they, they, they pump out some really good content, though. Oh, yeah? Uh, Who is it? But their, vi- their videos just don't get a lot of views. Uh, it's a channel called the Just OK Gamers on YouTube. Ooh. I think I heard about them. Pretty (laughs) stupid name. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb name. Who makes a name that's five syllables long? Yeah, really. Right. Like, (laughs) it's just bad SEO. Right. (laughs) Uh, No, Um, our our channel's uh, lacking. It's just the episodes of the podcast, really, at this point. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I don't watch. <laughs> Which like, is not lacking in itself, but it's not great for video, maybe. Right. People will just Unless want you want to see our faces. Yeah. People just want to listen to the podcast. They don't want to watch. I mean, sorry to the few people that are in Twitch chat, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's an audio format. Right. But we do... Produce it on Twitch as well <laughs> and upload it to YouTube. If you are unaware, yeah. if you want to see our faces, what we look like, hey, maybe you think we're all uh, really handsome. Uh, so you can go watch a video of us and be cor- uh, Well, we are handsome. Though. Be corrected. We, m- we might be making a little uh, change to our YouTube channel. Let's put it that way, huh? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Who knows? We'll if we see. ever get around to it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I got one though. Uh, just looking through my subscriptions, I'm gonna say Musley because hey, um, that guy, Musley. even if he wasn't a supporter of us, he's just the most genuine guy uh, around, pretty much. And I think he just deserves a lot. He deserves the world in my eyes. He's great, and everyone should go watch him. Nice, nice. Yeah, very nice guy. If you want any sort of uh, fun league content. Uh, he is very just okay when it comes it's to game Musley play. with one yeah. Z. Yes. Uh, he's a Scottish guy. His voice is great. So give him a shot. All right, next voicemail. Here it is. Uh, this is the one. Hey, guys, it's Stormtheus. Congratulations on the five-year pod. I uh, just thought I'd ask, what's your favorite Game of Thrones character from the book or show if you have one? Uh, have a good pod and also fuck Alex. Fuck Alex. <laughs> fuck, fuck, Alex. Alex. Fuck, fuck Alex. Fuck Alex. Fuck Alex. Fuck Alex. Fuck Alex. Alex. Fuck. 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 What was his uh, Alex. Favorite character from Game of Thrones? Game I think? of Thrones. Oh, I'm a Baelish boy. I've always liked Baelish. Oh yeah. Sad to see him go. Yeah, I think he's a very interesting character. 
basically connived his way to the top. Yeah, he plays. He as an actor plays that role well, and I feel like that's just like where he gets put often. Um, he was the mayor of Baltimore in uh, The Wire. Hmm. Hmm. He's also in um. He's also the uh, villain in Quantum Break. Oh. Hmm. Um, so my favorite character in Game of Thrones, uh, probably gonna have to go with Ned, Ned Stark. Yeah. Yeah. How many episodes have you made it into the first season? Uh, I mean, I'm all, I'm all the way through. Oh, the, I was hoping you'd play episode. along. Uh, he actually like inspired so much shit. Like if Ned hadn't died, just think about what would have happened. Right. That, like, yeah, none of this. None of this shit would have happened. Yeah, that that's 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 the story. Yeah, I mean, promise me that. That's the anchor of right. Yeah, of everything. It also sets the tone for the whole series in that, like, you play by fucking honor. If you're honor bound, sorry, buddy, but you did. You're not gonna make it. You did. Yeah. Anybody else? What was the, uh, what was no, the question? What's your favorite character? Oh, okay. I don't watch it. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Who's the uh, hot redhead that's like John Stark's sister uh, or girlfriend or something? Uh, Ygritte. Is that her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's my favorite. Isn't that her name? No, Ygritte uh, is uh the fucking uh, wildling wife. That, what the hot redhead? You said. Yeah, that's it. I think. Yeah. Do you know Snow's, nothing, Jon Snow? Yeah. Dude, she is smoking hot. And the fact that they hooked up in real after to that, do not blame him one bit. Anyways. I can't tell if you're fucking with me because I actually don't watch it. Yeah. All right. Well, you got something? Yeah. Um, I like the redemptive nature of Jamie Lannister. Yeah, me okay. too. Except I feel like they've failed as his character the past few seasons. Oh, they have. Absolutely. 100%. But, do you know, he he's run with it. The actor, I think. Yeah. I think that they've he's taken that role and whatever kind of shit they threw at it, he's still this re- amazingly transformed. In fact, I think he's kind of the anti foil to the whole nature of everything falling apart. Out of out of the crucible of all this madness, the one guy that helped start all of this out of his own immaturity ends up being the one last guy standing with any real integrity trying to hold it together alongside snow up north. Cool. All right, next voicemail. Hey, guys, it's Inky. Uh, I just wanted to call in, congratulate you guys on the big 250. Man, I started listening to you guys around a little over episode 100, so it's been a while. I've uh, been missing a lot of the streams lately since I started my new job, but every Friday morning on my way to work, got a new pod, so thanks for everything you do, guys. A uh, special shout out to Game of the Month, Nictea, Slate Aspire, great game, and the Biggest Size podcast. They always bring a special smile to my face. Okay, love you guys. Five years. Woo, bye. Woo, love you. Thanks, Ingi. Yeah. Good old Ingi. Appreciate it. Appreciate you always, always being there, too. Always showing up. Yeah. It's a sweet, 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 sweet child of mine. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, Ingi's, uh, Ingi's been around for a while and he's great. Thank yeah. You. And Nick Taya has been doing a great job as well as the community and participating this month, particularly with Split Slate mm-hmm. Spire. A lot of chat, a lot of chat talking to strats, talking daily, yeah, it's daily been very climbs. Very successful. Yeah. It's been really good. Uh, it's going to be hard to follow is my inkling. <laughs> Um, a way out maybe next month. I don't know. Who knows? Who we got to pick soon. Join our Discord if you want to participate. We do game of the month on Discord exclusively. Right. Okay. Next voice, Moyle. Thanks, Ingi. Here it is. Hey guys, it's Lone Wolf Alex here. Fuck um, Fuck if up. you guys Fuck could Alex. stream with any famous person in the world or gamer or whatever, who would it be? Um, I mean. Mine would probably be any of the Destro K gamer guys. 
Anyways, thanks. Bye. Mm. Oh, shucks. Uh, probably. Uh, who's that fucking DJ dude that streams? Uh, DJ. Dead, Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse. Yeah, probably him. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, he actually like streams and knows how to do that, and like has a solid setup, and his house has like six streaming computers in it, all attached to the same fucking like central area. I've I've like there's two camps to go. There's the who do you think it would be most fun with to stream, and who do you think would like get the most viewers, like Drake? You know, fuck Drake. You know, fuck T Pain streams. He does. This is going to make huh? zero sense, but the first name that came into my head, just, just organically, Ric Flair. <laughs> oh, Ric Flair would be <laughs> fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think he would be good now, though? Or would he just be like, I don't, I don't know. know what's he, wouldn't, he wouldn't understand anything that's hey, going on. I'd probably have some though. good stories. Right. Yeah. He's an entertainer. Yeah. Like, nonetheless, like, the entertaining side of him never has died right he would find a way to make it work right that's what that's what i mean like he he would turn it somehow into something fun i feel like the question is maybe too broad because you could just say like oh i'd stream with donald trump and that would get like a ton of views nah probably get more hate than (laughs) (laughs) i I guarantee that would people would tune in just to see you know if donald trump was streaming a game that would be (laughs) the most viewed thing in in the history of anything what if what if what if donald trump was streaming a uh fuck where is a what's a game based in russia PUBG, <laughs> right PUBG is based out of russia <laughs> kind of no that's china but yeah similar <laughs> close enough but donald trump streaming PUBG. <laughs> fuck man that would be hype holy shit yeah cool uh, that might be enough to bring PUBG back from from not feeding out <laughs> yeah. uh, Fortnite anymore. Very good. All right, ready for the next one? We'll do it. Hey, just okay gamers, Gift Paul here. Just wanted to say congratulations on episode 250 and five years of JOKG. I've been listening since probably episode like 65 or 70. So I'm not I'm not as old as some of the listeners, but I've been around for for a pretty long time, and uh, I wasn't always part of the community, but I certainly am now. I'm on the Discord, and it's great. I love everybody. I love all you guys on the Discord. Obviously, y'all, Guido, Wally, Nasty, Millpool. Uh, it's great that we've been able to keep this up, and that you guys have been producing this content. I know that you know there's been some support from people, but uh, it takes more than just that to want to keep doing it. It's the it's the desire to make it, and clearly you guys are passionate about doing this and it's uh certainly a big part of my life and i think it is a important thing for a lot of other people too so just wanted to say thanks for doing what you're doing keep it up we love you guys thanks so much have a great pod wow thank you very kind words that was that's the most serious i've ever heard gift poll yeah Yeah. good good thanks yeah thank you i look forward to your uh name changes every day (laughs) Every day I wonder what is Giftpole's name on Discord, and I yeah. look forward to it. I will say it does, it, it, there is like a bit of, I mean, a lot of passion on our parts to make this, right? Absolutely. There's there's enough passion, I'd say. <laughs> Just <laughs> barely enough to make this. <laughs> right. Just enough. Just the right amount. Um. But yeah, we've had those weeks where we're like, oh, why are we doing this? What are we doing? Fucking, uh, I'm tired of this, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. we always hit that record button and have a great time. So We do. Uh, I'm glad to have it. You know, it's uh, therapeutic, I feel, for me. I can't speak for you guys. No, it's an emotional palate cleanser because I, I got to come home from work and I'm like, I'm so tired. And then I actually get in here and it's like it liberates me a little bit from what brings me down during the day. Right. And uh, it, it helps. It helps with just uh, making something, I feel. If, if you're in the dumps or... 
or just, you know, f- feel like you don't have much of a direction or anything. God, this is getting really deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, Well, sorry for speaking from the heart. I want to give them encouragement to try and make something of their own. Yeah. You know? Agreed. Because it's helped me. It's given me something to do, and it's given me uh, not something to... Uh, build my life around but definitely something to kind of build my character around and yeah. uh yeah. it's good it's good for people so it, it doesn't have to be a podcast doesn't have to be a youtube video but i highly encourage anyone to just try and make something it doesn't have to have a huge audience you could just share it with you know whoever your your best friend or your mom or whatever but go out even there, make, make physical something. shit too you know like Fuck around with, I don't know, Arduinos or pies or raspberry pies or shit like that. You know, like if you find that shit interesting, just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Even just like, uh, you know, get on Chatterbit and, you know, jerk <laughs> off or something. As long as you're, as long as you're putting share. something out there. Just share right. it. Just share it. All right. Next voice mail. Here it is. In this five years time we have been listening to you Wally, Millpool, Nasty, and Guido too I don't think I could find a more just okay crew I don't want to find another podcast if you are through So what's your favorite part? Was it Fuck Beach? What's your favorite part? The D&D podcast, what's your favorite part? Was it the community? What's your favorite part? I think it's Dice Lords. Oh, Elder Tree. Elder Tree. Was that Elder Tree? Wow. That was Elder Tree. I didn't know he had uh, the musical gift. Yeah, he's got chops, baby. Spada Cheeto. Better walk out. He does. Better walk out. Better walk out. Better Better walk out. Better walk off. Better walk off. (laughs) (laughs) Um. Wow. The Very community. good. That's easy. Uh, <coughs> no, I think my favorite part about all this was definitely uh, doing the all chat video. For that's sure. Up there. Oh, that's, sure. that was yeah. no, number one with a bullet. Highlight. That whole mm. trip was a fucking fever dream. Actually, no, I take that back. Uh, Summoner's Con for sure was my favorite. Nice. Just getting out there to see other people in the community and be involved with other people was awesome yeah both of those are good but in terms of uh actual just like milestone that we did that we claim as completely ours this it's it's gotta be fucking it's gotta be just okay con oh yeah yeah, for sure yeah like we gathered people from around the world to come and hang out and uh, those guys are coming back we did that good (laughs) and uh (laughs) Um, and just out of just as a fun factoid too, uh, two of the voicemail guys, I think Elder Tree and Gift Pole, they're gonna try to make a concerted effort to come to Con. So, sweet, fresh, fresh faces, yeah. exciting, fresh meat. <laughs> All right, thanks, Elder. Thanks. Dude. Next Thank voice moil. Hi guys, it's Tomo. Um, Tomo. I'm ringing to leave a voicemail to say a happy 250th episode because you guys have really grinded it out for the past five or so years. Um, I only started listening from like two years ago and even since then, you know, I've had an absolute blast with you guys. You've got a wonderful community Um, I've made a lot of friends through it and to be honest with you, you've, you've helped me to fulfill one of my dreams which was to travel to America um, obviously Con made that possible. I'm going again this year. Con hype, pod hype, <laughs> everything's so fucking hype. And I wish you all the best of luck to get to the next 50. Um, well, I expect you to get there. Don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> all the best. I love you all. Same goes to the community. You're all absolutely fantastic people. And if it wasn't for these four guys, then fuck knows where we'd be, eh? Anyway, catch you in a bit. See you later. Bye. Peace. Kisses. Oh, Tom Tom Hart. Hart. Thanks, Tom. Tom Hart. Hart. Thank you. How are you guys feeling yeah, with man. all this? Uh, I'm about to cry. Yeah. I think I can't take this. <laughs> yeah. That was that was a can pretty we, one too. Yeah. 
can we continue so that way I don't have to? I want to mention one thing. No, no, I want to mention that. I, I, there's a little bit of self deprecation in knowing that we were the reason he finally visited America. <laughs> But yeah, I'm happy and he though. got I'm... he got a fucking farmhouse. Yeah, in the middle of bumfuck <laughs> nowhere. With a bomb have vomit burrito, and he's like, "This is <laughs> great. Man. This is what That's... I wanted. I dreamt of this." Yeah. That's the American experience, right there. <laughs> Good. Good stuff. All right, next voice moil. Here it is. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Really proud. Y'all made it very far. Oh, son of a bitch. Five years. Oh, fucking <laughs> snow. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Very good. Keep going. I promise that no one's gonna get bored. To the end of time. To the question. Very. I've been thinking about it and I need some professional advice. Fellas. Is it gay to suck a dick? <laughs> If the guy's got titties. <laughs> Thanks. Well, uh, in my you guys wanted opinion, Snowy back. You guys wanted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad. First off, that's offensive. In my professional opinion, yes. Yeah. 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 I, I, all, the only philosophy I have on anything is if you get, if it gets your dick hard, fuck it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> thanks, Snowy. Thanks, Snowy. Yeah, thanks. That thanks, was Snowy. amazing. He hasn't made an wouldn't appearance. Be... He tried to I know, send a voicemail a... like a week or two ago, but it was a... way too quiet. A celebration with that Snowy. Yeah. It's good to hear from him. And what a great celebration it is. <laughs> All right. Now next how many more voice. do we have here? We have two more. Two more. Oh, man. I, okay. I really got to pee, but I'll hold it. <laughs> okay. Here it's it is. Just let it go. Yeah, just let it drip out. Yeah, in my pants. Yeah, yep. right in your yeah. pants. Do it. Oh, That's you what can I do. do that. I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, totally, man. I do it all the time. All right. Okay. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Nice and warm, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's comforting, right? It's soothing. It smells like pee. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Next voicemail. Here it is. I'm back home again. Road trip for spring break, but now I'm home again. Went way out west, so now I'm asking you, my friends, what is the best road trip you've ever had? Mm. Oh, spettuccino. Spettuccino. Ben, hey, can I just say something? Think about this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nasty stink about that. Oh, hold on. Find it. Find it. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Don't start thinking yet. Uh, don't start Nasties stopping. think about that. Nasties think, think about, about, about that. that. Think Nasties about think that. about that. Nasties think about, think about that. Hey, what would you think, think about, about that? I like it. Uh, Spedicino is going on spring break. And he's been listening to us for three years. How old was he when he started listening to us? Nasties think about that. Nasties think, 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 think about that. Nasties think about that. Nasties think about that. Hey, what would you think, think about, about that? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you send us your answers to just kgames at gmail.com. Yeah, please. Um, favorite road what was trip. the question? Favorite road <laughs> favorite trip. Favorite road trip. Uh, uh, with you guys to uh, in Chicago and Milwaukee during all chat. Yeah, for sure. I would say that is my favorite as well. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Because it's the thing that we do. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't heard the road trip episode, by the way, you should go check it out with me and Guido. It was oh. really low count on the listeners. So if you could just bump that up just a bit. <laughs> Nice plug, dude. Thanks. <laughs> Way to put <laughs> three year old episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ABP, always be plugging. Um, Spettuccino 
We've uh, we've ha- he's grown since he <laughs> yeah. showed up for the podcast. Yeah. I literally that that's what made me like think about that is that like I was like wow oh. like his oh, voice up, his, up. I played his, it his no. voice has like changed since like he started sending in voicemails. Well, I mean we've watched a lot of people grow. I mean oh this is true like oh, go to go go to yeah she's a minor. Yeah. yeah. She's now she's a legal prospector. baby. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, in just like, oh, oh, God. We know. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Betty. Next yeah, voicemail. Thanks, Last voicemail. Here it is. Hey, this is Bomb Hap. Love you, love your show. Have you ever actually counted to 250 all in one go? I haven't, but it sounds... <gasps> For the record on that, that one, yeah, that yeah. was an extra 250 seconds. I was counting. Uh-huh. Holy cow! So now I have counted to 250 straight through. Very good. Yeah, uh, I've only counted to 243. <laughs> oh, yeah. What what happened at 243? Uh, that was all the numbers I could think of. <laughs> um, <laughs> then you uh, didn't know what came next? I didn't and know you what thought come... of 244. Oh damn! There you go. That's Start next. over. Damn. <laughs> Start over. All right. Thanks, everybody, for those wonderful voicemails. Uh, yes, but thank now you. you know this is a long episode, and <laughs> finally we've gotten to it. Your favorite it, segment. It is. It is time for my favorite segment, and that is listener. Of the week. <laughs> Yo, listener of the week. Now he's gonna be real sweet. Now <laughs> it's listener of the week. <laughs> this week's listener of the week is special. Very, very special to us. And this is a special, special person. Yep. Um, I can't say person. Though, you can can't I? really say person. You'd have to add a little plural on there. The special, special people? Yeah, special, special people. Uh, 250 episodes. We wouldn't be here without all of you, our wonderful, but wonderful listeners. Every Yay. single one of you. Every single one. This is the one episode you guys, you motherfuckers get. The one episode you motherfuckers get where we don't name an individual that left an iTunes review. We are thanking everyone. Yes. From, from our deep hearts. You know? our, from our deep hearts. Our deep, deep, deep within hearts. our bowels. Yeah. Deep within our, our My bowels. heart is so deep. So you, that guy, right now, listen to me. You're probably driving. You, you've never interacted with us. You've never uh, left a review. You've never showed up on the Discord. You've just consumed 250 fucking episodes of this thing without a goddamn <laughs> thank you. You, hey you, listen to me. Thank you for listening to this bullshit, you asshole. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> you piece of shit. But really, though, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Doesn't mean you're not a piece of shit, but thanks. All right. <laughs> you, all of you, are our listener of the week. <laughs> Yo, listener of the week now, he's gonna be real sweet now. <laughs> it's listener of the week. Yeah. You can be listener of the week by apparently just listening to the podcast. That's all it takes. <laughs> One time thing. Uh, no, you can leave a review on iTunes. We're going back to that. We got some. Where there's a stay of execution, uh, so uh, but that doesn't mean to slack. If you haven't left a review, hop on that iTunes, leave us a review, or send us an email. We got a few of those too. Uh, JustOKGamers at gmail dot com. Just say you know, hey, I if I could leave a review, I'd give you five stars, and 
Maybe like uh, a burp a little. <laughs> and, then, uh. and then say, uh, you know, if I could leave a review, uh, you guys are great. You make me feel good or, you know, say whatever the reviews say. Yeah, yeah, something um, like that. Nasty, you want to plug us out? Yeah, if you guys want to check us out, go to justokgamers.com on the right side. You can find links to all of our social media as well as a link to our Patreon if you want to support the podcast. That's how you can do so. Patreon.com forward slash justokgamers as well as like Guido said, you can send us a voicemail justokgamers at gmail.com or give us a call like some of these fine people did today. 615-763-5654. Also, come check out Twitch if you want. See our beautiful faces twitch.tv slash just okay gamers and uh if you missed it you can always go to youtube.com slash just okay gamers and find the replay of it there you go or youtube.com slash just okay gamers isn't that what i said i think you said twitch oh maybe not who knows okay it's impossible to tell there's no way to go back and listen and see who's right in this scenario uh, that's not a possible thing uh well there you have it uh it's not the highly produced one that we had planned i'm sorry that i lost that file yeah you know it's on me this time it's on me for once you admit when you're wrong oh thanks for forgiving me no problem (laughs) yeah see you took the nice route and nasty was just like for once you admit it it's about (laughs) fucking time it only took five years and Millpool just sat there dead eyed. Yeah, typical <laughs> Millpool. This is, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm dead inside. I'm dead inside. All yeah, right, guys. Took a little too long. We appreciate you. 250 yeah, episodes, thanks, five goddamn fucking it's years. Been a Thank hell you, Friday. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to you guys as well. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. We'll see you uh, next week. Uh, bye bye. 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 And we're out.